What is up and what is going on ladies and gents? My name is Malcolm, also known as Beta, and I'm here to show you guys how to get the Mystic Spear Hand pretty early on in your venture in Dragon's Dogma 2. I would say within the first two hours of the game, which isn't that bad. And the Mystic Spear Hand is arguably, in my personal opinion, the best vocation in the whole entire game. So without further ado, if you guys like what you saw, please leave a like, subscribe for more content. We do subscribe hit that notification bell set them to all follow me on twitter at beta b-a-y-t-u-h and i have my donations link if you want to support me further in the description down below and that's a pinned comment in the comment section down below as well so yeah without further ado let's get started with the voice crack Alrighty, ladies and gents, we're in Vernworth Capital, the main big hub area and the first area of the, game, of the game, I would say. It's pretty easy to get here. All you have to do is basically complete all of the main missions that are in the intro area, I would say. I would call it the intro area, which is the Border border Watch Outpost and Melv. It's about like two or three main missions. It might take you about like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, depending if you want to explore in this area, but you can't go past this point here because you need to complete all the main missions but it's about like 40 minutes give or take not gonna take you that long um so once you do that all you do is follow the main guard guy that's up here he'll take you around this way past the border point and you're gonna have to fight a stop a cyclops around this area and after you get done beating the bricks off the cyclops he'll pay for an ox cart ride for you <clears throat> excuse me and it'll take you directly to vernworth that's exactly where you want to be at so we can instantly go to all the way over here not instantly but <clears throat> make a trek all the way over here it's gonna be fog of war for you guys but just follow my cursor and you'll get the general sense of where it is to get mystic spear hand you'll come to a place called heart village just pop a waypoint down and boom bam boozoozle now there's some prerequisite things that you probably have to do first to uh spawn sigurd he is the meister for mystic spear hand so you can get the vocation um <clears throat> how i did it personally is I did some main missions from the main captain guy in Vernworth. You guys probably don't have to do this, but this is what I did. He'll, you know, you just talk to him, and he'll give you some main missions to do. One of them is a calling mission to call some monsters to kill some monsters. He'll take you uh, all over the place, like over here and over here, and in Harv Village. Now, you book it to Hard Village once you get the again. That's how I did it. Book it to Hard Village to call the monsters in the cave in Stormwind Cave. Once you get out of Stormwind uh, Stormwind Cave, a beastern person will ask for your help to kill more lizard people, lizard monsters in Hard Village. Once you kill them all he'll thank you he'll say hey come back in a day or two in a few days and you're gonna see hard village rebuild Seagirds should spawn then the thing is i'm not 100 certain if Seagirds will spawn if you just instantly book it to harv after you come to vernworth without talking to the doing the main missions from the captain guy i'm not 100 sure that that's the way i personally did it but with all that being said I was just going to show you guys the pathway, you know, to get to Harv. Sorry, that enemy was getting really annoying. The flying enemies, harpies, they really track you down like there's no one's business. They will follow you everywhere. All right, we're actually almost there. There might be a shorter path, but the, you know, <laughs> this is just the pathway I took. I would like to say, you know, please note, you might run into a dragon and a griffin. So if you come here really early, just be warned. Shit might get hard. Let's 
All right, we're basically almost there. Just around the corner. Basically down here. Yeah, there might be a dragon right here around the corner and a griffin on top of there, but you know. I want to put out a fun video where, the, where I was fighting a dragon and a freaking griffin just came out bloody effing nowhere. All right, we made it. Harv Village. Now again, like I said, I don't know if Seeger is going to be here if you just book it from Vermworth because the village is going to be in disarray. And I don't know if you could go down into Stormwind Cave and save the captain's guards because I don't know if there's like a trigger factor of you talking to the captain and he'll give you the calling mission, the boom, it'll trigger, you know, it'll trigger the mission to save the his guards and Stormwind Cave here. But again, if you accept the if you talk to the captain and he'll give you the calling mission, it's not gonna take you that long. Just come here to Hard Village first. It's, again, this is within the first hour or so in the game, like hour, hour and a half in the game. It won't take you that long. So all you have to do is come up here to the main hovel area. And here's Sigurd, the Meister for the Mystic Spirit. Talk to him. And he'll talk to you about, you know, you you like me, you're a risen, or blah blah blah. And boom. Weapon vocation, Mystic Spear Hand. Alright, we're back in the main capital area, Vernworth. And all you have to do, all that's left to do, ladies and gents, is just come down to the vocation guild. Talk to the guy. And get some, uh, uh, you know, buy the vocation. It costs a like 200 DCP, I think that's what it's called. But you should have enough to get it. Oh, he's just down here. He's going. Talk to the guy right here. Have you business with the guild, sir? Change vocation. I think I think it is a like 150, 200, 250 DC, DCP. You should have way more than enough to easily get Mystic Spear Hand. Then boom, baby, boozoozle. It's all yours. Best vocation in the game, in my personal opinion. It's super, super fun. Definitely when you have other uh, augments from different vocations on this to make a really good build. I'm gonna have a separate build video out probably within the within the few first few days of this video going live to show you guys like what this monster of a vocation could really do. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, basically it. <laughs> it's lit too. But yeah, that's basically it, ladies and gents. Thank you for watching this. Uh, I'm not really used to doing videos like this, so sorry if I was tongue-tied and I didn't make much sense. But to summarize, TLDR summarize, all you have to do is complete the main missions up here in the main intro area. It's like two or three of them. It'll take you like 40 minutes. Follow the main captain guard guy. Calm down here. To Vernworth, he'll 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 give you an ox cart ride. He'll pay for it. It'll instantly take you down to Vernworth. So all you have to do is come down here. You're in Vernworth again. I'm not 100% certain with if Seeger is going to be already in Hard Village. I don't know if you're going to have to do the the Beastern uh, dude's quest first to get rid of the lizard monsters in Hard Village first. That's not how I did it. How I did was I talked to the main captain guard guy. He'll go to question you. Talk to him again. He'll give you some missions. One, one of them is a calling mission that will take you all around. But one of them will take you to Har Village. Do that. Go inside the cave. Save his guard guys from the lizard monsters. Come up. The beast your guy is going to talk to you. Say, hey, save Har Village from these lizard monsters. You do that. He'll tell you, thank you. Come back in a few days. Har Village is going to be you know, built anew. You could find a bench somewhere or a rest of the campsite. If you have the camping equipment for a few days, come back. Or however many days it says to do. I think it's like two or three days. Or it might be a week. I totally forgot. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you come back. And you talk to the, the, the beaster guy. He'll thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Then you go up that hovel hill that I showed you guys. Then boom. Seeger should be there. Then if you couldn't just book it there from Vermworth. What I was talking about earlier. You talk to him. Boom, bang, boom, zizzle. He'll give you the Mystic Spear Hand of Vocation. You come back to the capital. 
go to the weapons guild and get your vocation simple as that so without that being said ladies and gents thank you all for watching this you guys what you saw please leave a like subscribe turn on notifications set them to all follow me on twitter at beta b a y t h if you want to support me further i got those donations link and or links i should say in the description down below and as a pinned comment in the comment section down below as well and with all that being said thank you all for watching and i will see you guys next time